Hello, Seepers and Sora Magdaroses. Sora Magdarai, what's the plural of that? I don't know. My name is Steve Sky, and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. So, last time, we completed some story missions, attempted to capture a giant elder dragon. It went, you know, about as well as you can expect when you're trying to capture, yeah, a mountain-sized dragon with toothpicks and tiny ropes. So, now there's a new whole area open to us, which I have done absolutely nothing to explore yet, but I'm quite excited because, generally speaking, the aesthetics of this video game are goddamn brilliant, and, uh, I'm quite curious to see what it'll look like. But before we head out anywhere, there's a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be done back in the base, so we will. Hurry back now. Okay. Hunt a Rathia. Oh boy. Okay. Rathians, huh? To the best of my understanding, they are the toughest monsters available to me at the moment. So oh boy, that's gonna be fun. But yeah, I'm gonna go pick up whatever side quests are around. So we have something to do. And check on whether or not I can craft something lovely and new for my equipment. Protein! And I should really remember to eat before before going on quests. I keep forgetting to, it's a bad habit. I've got new stock in. All right, you can also just purchase armor. <laughs> Although not much point in doing it at this point since they're all tier one and the stuff I can make myself is infinitely better. Do you really have anything new in? It doesn't feel like you do. I feel like this is all stuff that, like, that that was already... I, I guess she just has new armor for sale. Oh, well. Hello. How's your gear holding up? Let's see. Well, no point in doing that, but can I forge any new cool-ass armor? Oh, shit. I think I can actually get a, f a, a full set of this. Oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> I am a big beefy boy. Not that I would necessarily want to because the Anjanath armor is actually better and this doesn't seem to have any kind of a set bonus, so... Still getting that dragon... Okay, so spending a bunch of time just grabbing all the minerals on the back of that giant monster was clearly worth the time. Very large boy. Okay, let's see. Oh, no, not forge. Upgrade. So can I do anything in terms of... Well, I can create the Iron Grace which is substantially worse in terms of damage numbers, but which has a way better sharpness rating at the top level, which is quite good to have, I suppose. But I still haven't found any of the things I need for other things. Okay. What about the Buster Sword? What can I do there? Yeah, Buster Blade is available, which is just the Buster Sword, but more. Oh, that's actually a huge upgrade in sharpness. And some damage upgrade as well. Neat. But I don't want to use the great sword anymore. I've, I've had my fill of that, I think. And I have to take it that these are parts from some of the monsters I can find in the new area. Right. Well... I guess I'll just upgrade it into the Iron Grace, since I don't have any means whatsoever to grab that thing. And I might as well equip it, because I'm getting real tired of having to sharpen my bone shuttle so freaking often. It's becoming a problem. 
Okay, so far so good, and I don't necessarily want to do any more upgrading of my armor at the moment. How about my Palico? Anything new for him? No? Nothing? Aw. Oh well. Let's see, is there anything else in the base that I should go and look at? Doesn't look like there's any more quests or anything. So I guess I'll just go talk to my handler. Hey, partner! All oh, right, she wants us to go on an expedition, which makes sense. I love that the cutscene got upgraded as well. It's so good! These cats are so good! And the food looks so good, too. Oh, <laughs> I, I just ate. Like, I literally just ate, and yet... I see the food in this game, and I'm like, I could go for a snack, surely? <laughs> oh, speaking of cats, actually, I got advised to go to each of the previous areas as well and try and find the doodles on the wall, more of those, until I finally can track down what they lead to. Because apparently that's going to lead me to something good that I will enjoy, involving cats, as far as I can make out. So that might be worth doing, but perhaps not in this video. In this video, we're just going to explore this new area and see what it has to offer. And possibly cream ourselves a little bit about how beautiful it's going to be. Oh, this is actually Great. very pretty. We made it. Let's start by finding a way forward. Again with the color grading. So something I talked about... Um, while we were exploring the wasteland area, is the way that, that the game mixes blues and purples and grays and browns and greens into its its depictions of low light conditions. And you can really see that happening here. Like you look at, can I get my mouse out? There, I can point now. When you look at this right here, for example, this has a much more, th these areas of rock have a much more bluish hue compared to a lot of the other environment. You can you can see that here especially, and then there's these reddish streaks all along it. Um, and you can see how that, like how this is sort of much cooler and darker in contrast to the greater redness that exists over here and how like that, that gradient of blues to reds creates this very vibrant color scheme for this place because like if you rendered this with like the modern warfare aesthetic everything here would just be fucking brown like it was just like an ocean of poop that you're looking at with with no real variation and certainly no value variation and certainly no color very value by the way um value is um imagine if we turned this picture into grayscale the how light and how dark something is in grayscale, that's basically what value is. So if, if something has a high value, uh, it's dark. I, no, low value, then it's dark, and high value, then it's bright. I keep getting those things wrong, and I might have gotten them wrong right there. But high and low value basically means the, the relative brightness of the various bits. And that's something that I always feel like, uh, especially modern warfare games and stuff like that, uh, some of the older ones were really terrible at, at dealing with values in their environments, which created these really flat flat looking environments and here like one of the things that impresses me about monster hunter is nothing looks flat anywhere in this game everything looks like there's depth and 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 like um, motion in everything like there's so much motion in these rocks you see you see how it um, especially if you look ahead there i look how all these there's these angles you can see this this kind of curving angle from the bottom of this place up, that kind of gives you this this sway and sweep, which just looks absolutely gorgeous. And that's everywhere in Monster Hunter environments as well, so far at least. There's movement in everything, which is another thing that's really difficult to do with environment design sure, because like it's went straight through. We didn't even slow it down. No shit. Um, there's something pretty important on the other side. But that that's something that in environment designs that I really like seeing is like someone something with a, with a sense of movement in the environment like a sense like a sense of direction to it massive fissure it made this this is the power of an elder dragon bum bum ba ba da 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 da, -da. Ka 
hard, it's pretty. And it's just rocks. Like, I've just been gushing about rocks for the last five minutes, but... The game does such a good job of like, oh, look at this. Look at these piles. Like, these just piles of rubble that are just kind of lying there. Like, that, that organized chaos. Again, other games wouldn't have bothered with all this geometry. They would just have put some textures and some like, oh, rocks and some textures. Who cares? This is just a path. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need to have any kind of personality. But this does. Like, when, when you have these fissures and all this, this uh, geometric variety, the environment has a personality of its own. We gotta be careful not to fall here. Really? Because I was planning on getting to the top and jumping off. I thought that might be fun. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Ooh, scary. I think we're getting close. To what? We don't know what we're going for. And again, look at all the blues that enter the color palette the moment we head into the dark. And yet it's informed with all these purples and, and maroons and reds as well. God, it's pretty. So pretty! Oh. Is this a coral reef? Oh my god, that's cool! It's a coral! <laughs> oh, that's good! Oh, that's clever. Get out, that's clever. It's a coral reef on land! Raise you down there. <laughs> Please don't get caught by a monster immediately. A coral reef on land. How good is that? <laughs> Come on, this way. Lady, I just told you not to get caught by a monster the first thing. Oh my god. That's a fast boy! Race you down there! <laughs> God damn it! Well, okay, I guess someone lives here. If you take my stuff, I'm gonna kill you. Cool mask, though. So how the hell is it that we only just opened the passage to this oh, wow place, and yet somehow a whole bunch of people are already living here? And they have libraries? How? Well, okay then. New home base. More stuff to gush about. Oh, that's so pretty. The colors in this game, man. You awake? I don't know where we are. Did you just wake up on your feet? What? Hmm. Oh, I like them. Yeah, careful. Sure. That's... <laughs> How do you have all these plates? But, oh, this is love. So, here's another lovely aesthetic thing that's going on here. The the build aesthetic, in terms of, like, like the, the structure, you can see this is a, a ship. A ship's hull that has kind of been propped up and is being used as a base, right? Which is exactly the same thing that was going on back at, at the main HQ. But then the decoration style is completely different. And I think the the lighting style is different. It all seems to have a bit of a purple hue. Like a little bit of a pinkish purple hue laying over the whole place. So that you get this very, very different feeling. Which again, is also you get also a very... Like all these candles that are sitting around and these plates. And everything is sort of gorgeously... 
lavish in in excess. Like, there's so much excess here. Like, all these charms and all these decorations and, like, the pretty lamps and stuff, which gives you a very different cultural feeling than the main base. But you still get the sense that, yeah, it's probably built by, like, nominally this uh, people in nominally the same circumstances but with a very different approach to how they want to as it were outfit <laughs> their base which is really again like they've gone really hard on getting this this aesthetic nice hey there <laughs> a charm Piece of gear that can activate skills. Only one can be equipped at a time. Charms can be created by selecting forge equipment. Ah, some can be powered up. Okay, new bit of equipment to mess with. Nice. All right. That is good to have. Let's see. Is that the botanical? Ah, oh, provision stockpile. And he's got exactly the same stuff as they had back at the other base, of course. Because it's gameplay balanced. Hey, Captain Fushbutt. How you doing? So I still don't have any other equipment for him. Hmm. Presumably I'll get some at some point. Okay, not a very large base, this. Let's see. So that's her... Ligiana, huh, flying vibrance. And apparently it was one of those that brought this ship down. So I guess this was an airship once upon a time. Okay, cool. Sweet. This is all very awesome. I'm excited to check out those Coral Highlands. They were goddamn pretty, let me tell ya. And that's just such an inspired vision. Like, hey, tell you what we're gonna do. What if Coral Reef, but not underwater? That is a cool idea. That's just a cool-ass visual idea. Which, again, I feel like, like a lot of video games... I feel like a lot of video games like that uh, that would be trying to approach. Yeah, crashed airship. I see. Cool. Um, a lot of video games that would be trying to do. Okay, let's do a whole bunch of different like fantasies or environments for like people to explore and stuff. And I feel like a lot would have would have ultimately kind of ended up in. In just doing like, oh, there's a water area, there's desert area, and there's a forest, at like Mario levels, basically. And we kind of had gotten stuck on that. At least that's that's kind of my feeling compared to the absolute madness that this game engages in in terms of its aesthetic inspirations. Because we start with a forest, and then we get a desert, and it's like, okay, well, things are proceeding pretty normally. And then it's like, boom, fucking coral reef, man. Bet you didn't see that coming, asshole. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious whether they're gonna, gonna keep going a little bit off the rails as we head deeper into into the world, or if they're gonna, you know, pare back a little bit and chill. I guess I just have to jump out. There's little jellies flying in the air because, like, the 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 inside of this particular particular area is like. Why not? Like, yeah, we can still have jellyfish. Why not? Like, why not just say, okay, uh, who cares? It's... It's basically a forest. Where the corals are the trees. 
And I don't care what anyone says, that's just really freaking cool. Snow herb! Or herb, I suppose. Ooh. And did I just see what I thought I saw? Because if I did, then I'm gonna be very happy. Yeah. Same Viverns flying around us everywhere else. And now we're also finally starting to see some recycling. Like, some real recycling. Like, these little these little bastards were also running around the wasteland area. Which I'm fine with. Oh, oh my god, it is... Yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so, on the seafloor, there are little fish that do what, uh, what, what those things are doing. Which is to poke out of the seafloor and sort of look for um, look for prey, as it were, floating past in the water. Wiggler, it's called, huh? And there, those are just like real ass fish that exist, and they've incorporated them here, which is so good. I'm going to capture some of those. Oh. So when do they pop back out? When I look away? Oh no, they wait. They go slowly. Oh, just like the little... I, there's an aquarium. Uh, aquarium not far from where I live. Where they have these little things and you can you can kind of mess with them. And see them kind of poke their head out of the sand and stuff, and they're adorable. God damn it. Okay. Uh, that's enough time wasted on doing that. Stone, it is. Oh, it's so cool. Let's just conf reconfigure the idea of undergrowth in a forest by turning it into coral instead. That is very clever. Gonna catch me a wiggler! So I think I was supposed to follow a, a set of trails. And then I didn't, because <laughs> I got too interested in everything else. By the way, pink! How good is pink? As an aesthetic here. How good is that? That's really good. Because it's it's such a wonderful way to differentiate the color palette of the area. From every, are those flying seahorses, basically? No, they're little... Oh, they're like... Oh, they're cute. Oh, they're adorable. Coral birds. Nice. I prefer stones, I think. Oh, no, sorry. Oh, no, I didn't mean to shoot it. I wanted to capture it. No. I'm a monster. Hunter. There we go. There's the tracks. Just gonna grab those. Are they going this way, then? Yep. I guess there's a new monster to find out here. Sort of an introductory quest that kind of forces you to run through a lot of the area. Oh, giant seashell. That is very good. Coral bone. Nice. Okay, moving along. Yeah, there's a Yagras, basically. Except, of course, not Yagras. Because they are color-swapped, or... model-swapped, but they seem to share the same animations. And have a lot more health. Chamos. Let's grab some stuff from that. Oh no, don't despawn! Oh, come back! God damn it. 
Guess I'll grab some bright moss in case it's useful. What are you flying off towards? Oh, it's up here. Ooh. Oh, once again, some animation reuse. I believe that has the same animation set as the Kulu Yaku. Sort of. At least partially. And it's a Yaku as well. I see. Nice. So, Tsitsiyaku. So there's another monster in that particular family of monsters. That's clever. And that's a, a, that's a lovely way to recontextualize um, a set of animations, I think. Like, to take them... Because, like, I mean, dinosaurs and birds are the same kind of species or same kind of, of creatures already, so that's a clever way to recontextualize one into the other. I would hazard a guess that there's some monster lair somewhere up here since this seems to be a dead end. Yeah, this is definitely a monster lair. So something is gonna come back here. Ooh, flash bug. Gonna grab that. And whatever this is, Pearl Oyster. That's probably something useful. More account items. Don't know what they're for, but maybe I can sell them. Also, the introductory sequence, like the 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 um, the cutscene that introduced us to, do I have to swing across? Looks like it. The cutscene that introduced us to the area, but I can't though. Well, I can't climb back up. So I guess I have to... Yeah, but I can't use my slinger either to grab. I am confused. Oh! Well, alright then. Not really what I intended to do, but... Eh? Monster Hunter, would you like to help? There we go. Nice, thank you. Sweet. Back on the trail. Whee! Oh, this is so pretty. That's something I've noticed that, like, one thing I kind of don't like about the scout flies <laughs> is that they kind of, they keep directing your attention towards certain things in the environment in a really, really kind of intrusive way. Where I would really rather that, like, that they were a little bit less, like, a little bit less glow cloud hanging over everything and just kind of made the thing on the ground light up. Really? All right, your funeral. Like whatever, what the hell are you gonna do? Barely even touch me. <laughs> to be fair, I'm not really hitting them either. Because they're so small. 
Oh my god, you're still fighting? Ugh. Get scared and run away. Jerks. Still? Really? Fucking really? Are we done? Jeez. Well, I'll take the resources. Those are very stupid monsters. <laughs> Well, he only killed eight of us. I'm sure the last one still has a chance. He must be tired. Get him, guys. Dumbasses. Oh, well. Maybe I can make a nice suit out of them. Uh huh. Just the plant design in this game. Like, the variety of leaf types. And the variety of, of like, uh, expressions of different kinds of plant life that you've got. Go Even less than, like, like, the grass on the ground. There's a whole bunch of different types of, of leaves and plants and grass being expressed here. Which, again, most video games would be like, it's probably fine to just have, like, one or two kinds of grass. We probably don't need that much more unless it's for something special. But there's a very different approach to the aesthetic here. I mean, it's, and it's also because, like, the, the, the selling point, a big part of the selling point of the game, I presume, is to sell you a, a fantastic uh, environment to run around in and explore and, and, you know, cool creatures to fight and kill and encounter. So it's all part of, of that selling point, as it were. Please don't fight me. It's not going to go well for you. I'm looking for a campsite. Okay. Campsite. Alrighty then. Shouldn't be too hard, should it? I say, <laughs> cursing myself. So what happens if I jump into that? Oh, okay. Well, that's interesting. I guess I can just go back up. Yeah. <laughs> spider web? Spider web. Spider web. Need the web to make a trap. Can I climb that? Yeah. Okay. And I can climb that, and I can jump further down, where we get actual water. Nice. And this is like the underside of coral reefs, like the, the old, deep down parts of it that don't get a lot of sunlight anymore and don't get a lot of the nutrients. So it's all gone rocky and kind of dull. Just climb up out of the floor, okay. Ooh, more of the pretty birds. Lots of them, actually. And yet, only one wanted to be my friend of its own free will. Without any... any force or coercion. <laughs> hmm. 
I don't think I'm ever going to stop feeling vaguely bad about that. No! Ugh. I want you to get on the platform and grab the... Bones. Oh. I thought I could maybe use my... Grapple hook to get up, but no, I see. Hello. What the hell is that? Oh, it's a it's a cat. <laughs> Ooh, can I capture one of these? Yes. Oh. Flying Meduso. Gonna grab some of those in case they're useful. Disrupt the ecosystem, man! Oh. Neat. Everything here is cool. Okay, back where we started, I think. Nope, this is new. Okay, so that only works when you have full gauge, I guess? That cat looks like a, a, a reef slug. I don't seem to be hitting anything right now. Which is a bit embarrassing with how many targets are around. Ow. Well, not that much ow, because it didn't actually hurt, but... Done. Excellent. I guess I'll have plenty of Shamos pelts. It's weird that you meet cats and they're just like, yeah, sure, I'll help you murder some things. Anyway, we're looking for a campsite, right? Hey, partner. <laughs> the game took pity on me. <laughs> okay, not sure I want to fight that thing yet. The game was like, God damn it, just go to the place, do the thing, Jesus. Have you ever seen anything like this? Has anyone? Come on, let's go exploring. Well, I think some people might have seen it, like the people who live in the ship that's here. Those birds are excited by something. Oh, it's a sleep toad. Gonna grab that. Uh, 
And yes, fine, fine, I'll go find the campsite, you nagging goddamn me. Hey, partner, come find the campsite. Fine. I'll stop playing and come do the chores. Mm. That's nah, fine. The sooner I do that, the sooner I'll have more stuff to do in the game. Ooh, that's from a monster. I don't know what's that. Oh, that's large, I think. Or is it just far away? It seems large. Let's put it that way. <laughs> you look up at the sky and the sky even looks like sea. Like, it, e it even kind of looks like you're looking up from the bottom of the ocean at the sky. That is well executed. Who knows where we'll find a campsite, obviously. I think we could build the camp here. Let's ask the head honchos. Sounds like the research base has a new guest. Want to go back and check in? And maybe grab something to eat? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right, fine. Give me the missions. I want the missions to do the things. But yeah, my goal is by the end of the week to have unlocked at least one more new area besides the Coral Highlands. Hopefully. If there is any. There probably is. There, yes, absolutely are. Da 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 Empty-handed? I found a campsite and stuff! Yo. Hello. Okay, so we're building an airship now. And we need to find monster a monster called Paulumu. Alright. Wanna get going? Okay, new gear, excellent. Glider mantle. All of this is amazing. Glider. A glider mantle, eh? Well now, I should check out what that does. Presumably it lets me fly. I can fly, I can fly, I can fly, I can fly, I can fly. Okay, so that lets you basically place healing zones around the fight. So you can recover passively. Okay. Nice. That's cool. Whee! I knew it. I knew there was something to that updraft. I knew you could do something with it. I could tell. I should probably equip the defense charm. Okay, sweet. Let's just start by restocking. And getting rid of the stuff I don't need immediately. Cool. That's excellent. But there's no blacksmith or anything here, so you still have to go 
You still have to go all the way back to right to get that. Cool. All right. So I think uh, we'll end this video here, make it a little bit of a shorter one, which uh, which is generally, I think, been good for this series that they're not all three hours long uh, on like the Dark Souls videos and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I am. I'm enjoying this new area immensely, in case you couldn't tell. It's very pretty. And I think in the next couple of videos, we'll. I'll, I, I previously I put out a request. Uh, I, to, I told people if they wanted me to take a specific look at at a, at a monster or go look at something uh, something particular in the environment and stuff like that, they should ask me in the comments. And I've had a few comments like that. So I think next video, I'll go and try and find myself a puke puke, and follow it around for a while, and you know see what it's like, because someone asked me to do that. In the meantime, uh, down in the description, as usual, instructions if you'd like to join me on stream playing Monster Hunter on Saturdays at 8 p.m. over at Twitch TV, TV slash TV Sky, then you can find those right over there. And like, comment, subscribe, and do all the other YouTube stuff if you feel so inclined. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.